What's a movie without refreshments? I'd like a large popcorn. Uh, I'll have some topping on that, please. Hi, can I please have a Pepsi with lots of ice? Raisinets? I want like some candy. Some people claim that a movie just isn't a movie without refreshments. Each year, in theaters across the country, we serve enough popcorn to fill a freight train many miles long. We serve enough soft drinks to fill a good-sized city reservoir. Our customers gobble up thousands of pounds of mouth-watering candy. And just think about how far a million and a quarter pounds of popcorn topping will go. So it should come as no surprise that operating our concession stand is one of the most important jobs here at General Cinema. So it's up to us to make our patrons' visit to our theaters even more entertaining by providing the freshest, tastiest refreshments served with a smile. In the next few minutes, let's take a closer look at our concession stands and what you can do to make your job here more efficient and more rewarding for you. By knowing your job, you contribute to our success. You benefit our patrons by serving the freshest concession items quickly and courteously. You benefit general cinema theaters because you'll be projecting an image of professionalism. And you benefit yourself because you'll take advantage of opportunities in our growing theater chain. And at the same time, you'll be learning a new job and customer service skills that will be helpful in any job you'll have in the future. This concession training program has three parts. First, this tape presentation offers a summary of the roles of our concession staff. Watch the program carefully. It will introduce the procedures you'll learn about in the second part of the training. The second part of the training is contained in the concession workbooks. They'll illustrate in detail all the procedures you'll need to follow. You'll learn at your own pace, and you'll be given self-tests to help you measure your progress. The third part of your training will be on the job, receiving instruction from your manager, observing your coworkers who have experience, and performing procedures on your own. You'll learn even more about the products we serve and more about the skills you'll need to serve them. Don't be afraid to talk to your theater manager if you have any questions. It's teamwork combined with an individual effort. Uh, it's people working together to help each other. It's also people working hard on their own, each knowing what has to be done. To perform our jobs well, we need to know what's expected of us. Let's get started. You'll refer to three workbooks throughout your training. There are a few steps you'll need to follow to help get us ready each day. They're discussed in detail in workbook one. Step one, unlocking the stand. Before the theater is open, you'll unlock the cabinets so you'll have easy access to everything you'll need during the day. Step two, turn on the popcorn warmers. Since it takes a while for popcorn to heat up, you'll need to turn on the units early enough each day. Step three, fill the popcorn warmers. The time to fill any of our displays or bins isn't when we're busy serving patrons or isn't after we've run out. Start by filling the warmer to capacity at the beginning of the day and keep fresh bags nearby. Many theater chains don't pop their own popcorn. We pop ours fresh. Because we use so much, we can't pop it at the concession stand itself. Instead, we have popping rooms in each theater, where we prepare and bag our most popular concession item. Popcorn is fragile. No one likes popcorn crumbs, so carry it carefully and keep fresh bags handy. You'll need to refill the warmer during the day. Anticipate your busy periods 
and refill the warmer prior to these busy times, so you'll have plenty of warm popcorn on hand ready to serve. Step 4. Turn on the topping machine and assemble the topping machine pump. You'll see how easily the pieces fit when you review workbook 1. Once you prime the pump, you'll be ready to dispense the warm butter flavored topping. Step 5. Fill the ice bins. Again, we fill the bins to capacity at the beginning of each day, so you don't run out later. Be careful to clean up any ice that falls on the floor to avoid slipping hazards. Step 6. Set up your merchandise displays. Remember, an attractive display draws attention and increases our sales. Step 7 is count the money. We'll do this to verify the amount in the opening concession bank. Finally, step eight is to notify your manager that you're prepared to open. The opening procedures are now completed and you're ready for patrons. Let's review the opening procedures. Step one, unlock the stand. Step two, turn on the popcorn warmers. Step three, fill the warmers. Step four, turn on the topping machine and assemble the pump. Step five, fill the ice bins. Step six, set up your merchandise displays. Step seven, count the money. Step eight, notify your manager that you're ready to open. Uh, may I have a large uh, popcorn, please? I'm sorry, but uh, we're out of that. Oh, okay. Then uh, I'll have some raisinets. Uh, I don't know if we have any more. Oh, okay. Then I'll have a uh, Pepsi. I think we've run out of cups. Would you mind stopping by on your way out? Patrons can't buy what we don't have on hand, and they aren't likely to request items they don't see. It's up to you to keep the counter well stocked with the products we sell and the supplies we need to keep us operating. You'll need to make judgments anticipating what you need before you need them. So you're never caught at a busy period without the things you need close by. You'll stock some items at the beginning of the day and at closing and other items will be continually restocked as you need them. The steps to stocking are detailed in workbook two. Remember, count the items you bring to the stand, making sure the amount delivered was the amount you ordered. Don't forget, it's not just the popcorn and candy that may run out. You'll need to order the cups, popcorn buckets, straws, and napkins too. Now that we've opened the concession area and stocked it, it's time to serve our patrons. We're not always judged solely by the quality of movies that we project onto the screen and the quality of the items we serve. We're judged by the entire movie-going experience, and part of that is simply how we treat our patrons. The information that's presented in Workbook 2 will help you become an even more valuable General Cinema employee, serving the refreshments our patrons request and serving up the image of professionalism that's important to our success and yours. It's the image you project of courtesy, efficiency, and service that our patrons will remember. It's the kind of service you would expect from others. All of us have a very important role to know our products and to know our patrons. Okay, I'd like a small pop. Uh, no. I'd like a large popcorn. Um, uh, no. Okay, make that with a we'll little bit to of deal with no. our patrons promptly and with enthusiasm. And you'll help them with the often difficult task of making a decision. Um, uh, no, you know, maybe I'll have a candy bar. The best method of suggestive selling is selling up. When a patron doesn't ask for a specific size, make a suggestion. 
Uh, I'd like some popcorn, please. Would you like a bucket? We sell popcorn, soft drinks, and candy. When one isn't ordered, suggest the missing item. I'll have a large popcorn and a large Pepsi. Would you care for some candy, too? Items that are on special are the perfect suggestion. Use suggestive selling wisely. It will increase our sales and increase our patrons' satisfaction. We'll be completing quite a few sales before each movie begins. So you'll need to know how to complete a sales transaction, taking in money and making the correct change. Okay, that will be $2 out of 10. Your change is three. Be pleasant and polite. Count the change carefully at the cash drawer and into your patron's hand. Remember, to the patron, you are General Cinema. The image you project is the image our patrons will remember. Let's review what you'll learn in Workbook 2. Know your products and keep them in stock. Sell up. Suggest missing items. And alert our patrons to special promotions. Finally, the most important tip, be courteous and at all times, smile. We all understand that our customers expect to see a place that's neat and clean. Part of our image is just keeping the place looking nice. A well-maintained concession area isn't just important to our patrons, it's also important to us by providing a nice place to work. So we all have the responsibility to keep the area clean. In the third workbook, we'll be showing you how to keep our area looking its best. It's not hard. There are just a few things I had to learn. Most of it's just common sense. Some areas need to be cleaned at the end of each day, and other areas as needed throughout the day. You'll learn to spot problems before they get out of hand. And you'll learn how to take care of small spills and smudges that can be cleaned quickly. And you'll learn how to clean our equipment. A clean environment shows our patrons that we care. Workbook 3 will provide step-by-step -step instructions. How to clean glass and displays. How to care for the electrical equipment, like popcorn warmers and cold drink dispensers. Arm yourself with your sprayer whenever smudges or stains appear. And a mop when the stand needs a more substantial cleaning. The workbook lets you know what to clean and when. Remember, use caution when cleaning around food areas. At the end of the day, it's time to close up the stand, so it can be ready for another busy day tomorrow. There are only a few steps. It's a lot like opening in reverse. Step one, return merchandise to stock, placing items in their proper storage cabinet. Step two is receive credit for merchandise that was returned or damaged and couldn't be sold. These are given to your manager for proper credit. Step three, lock the cabinets. Step four, inspect. Take a close look to see that everything is in its place and the stand is ready for tomorrow's activities. And finally, step five, notify your manager to inspect the counter. When you review workbook three and the other workbooks, take the time to learn about the products we sell and the skills you'll use every day. You're an important part of general cinema. That's why this training program is so important. Welcome to the world of popcorn, soft drinks, and candy. Be professional, be courteous, smile, and above all else, enjoy your job.